In today's Madden 21 tip, I'm going to be breaking down a simple five-man pressure that you can use out of the 3-4 Cub in Madden NFL 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. If you've never been to my YouTube channel before, what I do is I make Madden 21 videos that are designed to help you improve in this year's game. I do that through tips, through strategies, through blitz breakdowns, defenses, offensive tips, uh, film study, the best players in the game. Uh, we actually have a really good film study analysis coming to you guys probably later on today uh, that I'm going to be doing, or maybe even tomorrow. We're going to do uh, some stuff there. But make sure, if you have not already, at the bottom right hand of the screen, if you want to get better at Madden 21, I want to encourage you to go ahead and click that subscribe button because we post four times a day here on YouTube some type of tangible tip that you can use and if you want to you can hit that notifications icon that's going to allow you to be notified whenever we go live we go live every single night on YouTube at 10 o'clock eastern time if you have any questions you can also text me my cell phone numbers at the top left of the screen all right so three four cub and um, this can be found in a variety of different playbooks this year. Uh, we are in the New York Giants uh, defensive playbook right now. But literally the play we're going to be going over is clamp double go. Now you can do this from us some other plays. You can actually just run trio sky zone if you want to. Um, I'm going to show you uh, clamp double go. I'm also going to show you um, trio sky zone. Okay, so clamp double go is the one that I originally uh, actually really enjoyed. Now watch what happens if you just run this by stock. You'll see how that nose guard, see how he kind of, see how he really runs down at the defense actually a very unique route that he is on so uh, what we want to do here is literally all you're gonna have to do is you're just gonna pinch your linebackers and you're gonna shade coverage over top that's all you do or I'm sorry and you're gonna pass them and what you'll see is you get these really weird glitchy kind of disengages now that's not the tip that's just part of the tip okay the next thing you can do if you want to get the pressure to come in a little bit more consistently is all you're gonna have to do is overload blitz one side okay so we're gonna still uh, go ahead and we're gonna actually spread our linebackers here let's get this guy backed up just a little bit back in this area right here we're gonna crash our line to the left side and we're going to zone the linebacker at the top of the screen. And what you're going to see is we're going to get this disengage um, A-gap pressure, as you see there, coming at the quarterback. Now, you're either going to get disengage pressure or you're going to get um, – if you don't get the, the disengage pressure, then you're going to get some type of um, some type of B gap pressure here. Um, here it is with the quarterback spy. As you see, the quarterback spy, you're going to get that nice disengage edge pressure off that right edge. But you're going to see you're going to be able to do this from both sides. That's what I really like about the three four cub. You can do this. This is universal. You can do it from both sides. Um, you'll see here. Now I'm going to crash my line uh, to. I'm going to globally with all my linebackers down, and then I'm going to crash the line to the right and then I'm just going to be overloading that left side right there and you'll see at the snap of the ball you are going to be able to get some gap pressure off that edge now you can do this from trio sky zone as well if you would like all we're going to do is audible to trio sky zone here and literally all we're going to have to do is we're just going to crash the line to the left and then I like to spread my linebackers I like to blitz from depth I think it's really important if you're going to get that a gap pressure and there you see the a gap coming through that same blitzing concept can be ran from clamp double go all you have to do differently on clamp double go is just make sure that you're going to blitz only the line, only the side of the linebackers that you're going to be actually blitzing here. Um, may, get, may get a little bit messed up here, but you do see there's the A-gap pressure. So this is consistent A-gap pressure from the right side and the left side. Um, and what's going to happen is uh, if they uh, try to pick up that A-gap pressure, you're going to see they're going to be very, very vulnerable to some edge pressure. Um, that you're going to have. You do want to blitz from depth. That is kind of the goal from this. But as you see here, that A-gap pressure is going to kind of scream in right at the net, and you're going to be able to get pretty consistent pressure from your nose guard there. So anyways, guys, just wanted to get this quick tip out to you. Uh, this is uh, Trio Sky Zone. Literally, all you're going to do is you're going to crash your line to the to the right. I personally like to shade my cover or shade my uh, linebackers to the outside. One other thing you can also optionally do is you can spy that backside guy. Sometimes he'll take that guard out of it. There you see, there's the edge pressure. But you're either going to get edge or you're going to get a gap pressure from this little blitz setup. I like to mix this blitz in. Three four Cubs actually pretty good this year. Um, there's a lot of things that you can do with this. Um, here you'll see this um, this was a different blitz setup that we were running right there but you see very very good pressure um, kind of passive you know honestly you're only blitzing five 
Um, you can run a very simple uh, three deep, three under zone coverage scheme with this and make it fairly effective. Um, but here you see, uh, looks like we ran the blitz one too many times in practice mode and we're going to get picked up. But um, anyways, guys, if you have not already, I do want to encourage you. Remember, we uh, are always open to answering questions. So if you have any Madden 21 questions, you can always text those to me. My number is in the link uh, or in the uh, this. The, the top left there, 812-216-3644. Also, if you want to become a part of my community, one of the things I do want to encourage you to do, subscribing is great and you can do that and I appreciate you doing that. But what I really want you to do is I want you to join my Discord. My Discord is by far um, the best way that you can improve in Madden 21 because the tips and tricks are not only just from me, but they're from my entire community. And so if you haven't already joined the Discord, I want to encourage you to do that right now. You can do that simply by going into the description of this video. There's a link that says join my Discord. You click that link. It's going to take you right to set up an account and you can grab uh, or jump in there and start participating in the conversation. We talk Madden 21 all day, every day. So we will see you guys over at Discord. There's also going to be some videos that are going to come up that you can check out right now. And if you have not checked out one of my live streams, I want to invite you to that tonight. We will be going live at 10 o'clock Eastern time right here on my YouTube channel.